Hey all, Kurt Chan here from the Autodesk Cam team, and today we're going to be taking a look at how we can leverage the echo command for shortcuts. For example, to change the units, we would have to go to File, Options, Application Options, Units, and then change it from Metric to Imperial. What the echo command allows us to do is capture any process command of any item we click on inside of PowerMill. For example, under the unit system, if I click metric or imperial, you'll notice under the command window for the process command, it will say edit units millimeters or edit units inches. Now knowing that command, I can create a custom icon which will allow me to flip between inches and millimeters on a shortcut menu. Speaking of shortcut menus, you can actually create your own shortcut ribbon by right clicking on the top ribbon and creating a customized ribbon. Once you create your custom tab, Create a new group, and from here, rename it to change to inches. Next, you'll create a customized button where you'll name it inches, and within the command line field, you'll take that process command, edit to inches, and paste it there. You could always pick a sample icon or upload your own image, or even better yet, not have any icon whatsoever. Once it's created, it'll pop up on your custom shortcut tab. And from here, once you click on it, you'll notice at the very bottom, it'll change from millimeters to inches. With that said, you can walk through the same process to create a shortcut button to switch from inches back to millimeters. Now keep in mind, you wanna be in the correct units before you import your part. If you didn't know, when you're creating your setup, you can actually import an STL file for your stock. For example, when I'm modeling Infusion 360, I'll not only model my parts, but the actual stock I'm gonna be using to cut my part. I'll bring that modeled stock over into PowerMill and use the work plane position to using setup stock to apply my WCS and set my G54 easily. And then from here, you can always go ahead and edit the work plane and swap the axes so you can have X, Y, and Z in the correct location. Don't forget under the drop down coordinate system to change that work plane to name to work plane. Lastly, if you're ever curious on where to get all these wonderful vices to use in your setup, within Fusion 360, under the data panel and under the folder called CAM samples, there's a subfolder called work holding. We've partnered with multiple work holding companies, and within there, you'll find CAD models to all their vices. These libraries will continuously grow as we update Fusion 360, so feel free to use any one of them. With that said, hopefully you found this quick tip tutorial helpful. If you liked the video, click the thumbs up and look forward to many more to come.